Okay, looking at the circle portion of your note. Circumference is 2 times pi times radius or pi times diameter. That is how you say it. Please don't say pi d. Please don't say 2 pi r. This is a multiplication problem. This is a multiplication problem. You're multiplying three numbers here, 2 pi and r, whatever r is, and you're multiplying two numbers here, pi and d. Circumference is the distance around a circle. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Pi is the ratio of a circumference to a circle's diameter. We represent it numerically as approximately 3.14. It is an infinite non-repeating decimal. If we're given a diameter, then we cut it in half to get radius, or if we're giving a radius, we multiply it by two to get diameter. Area of a circle is pi times radius squared. Radius squared is r times r. It is not r times 2. Repeat after me. Radius squared. Ooh, that's Radius terrible. Square. Radius squared Radius square. is r times r. r, times r. Not, r. not r times 2. Not r times okay, so here's two circles, um, and we're going to go over them as examples. This right here, if I look at this and I trace this line here, and then I go around and trace the arc, what letter have I made? So what is this 16? Is it the diameter or the radius? Diameter. Diameter equals 16 feet. So remember, if I have a diameter, what must I do to get the radius? by divide by 2 so what is my radius here 8 feet cool now over here I don't have the long line I have a short line what letter did I just draw what is R for Radius. So if I have a radius, what must I do to it to get diameter? By? By two. So what is my radius here? And then my diameter would be, I just want to complete going all the way there. What? Six feet and feet. Just in case, let's square the radius. So what does squared mean? Somebody's listening. R times R. Here's my R. What's R times R? Eight times what? Which is what? 64. Over here, what's my R times R? Nope, that's my D. Go back to the R. Three times three, which is nine. All right. Now, I've got 64 here for this radius square, and I got nine here for this radius square. So let's focus on one circle. I want to find the area and the circumference. Circumference is calculated as pi times diameter or 2 times pi times r. In this case, I only want to multiply two numbers, pi and diameter. What is pi? I said it earlier on this page. There we go, 3 and 14 hundredths. And then the diameter for this circle. I need you to pay attention. The diameter for this circle is what? 16. So this is now a multiplication problem. 3.14 times 16 is going to be my circumference. Then for area, I'm going to give myself a little bit more room up here. Pi r squared. 
What is pi? 3.14. What is radius squared? 64. Somebody's paying attention. I am defining each part of my formula. So at the last step, all I need to do is multiply. So I need to multiply 3.14 by 16 and 3.14 by get started. Okay, tell me what you have, please. Okay, you got 200.96 for the area. That is feet squared. Now I need the circumference. This one over here. Yes, ma'am. 50.24. And this is just feet because it's distance around. It's kind of like perimeter of a circle. Okay, that is how you find the area and the circumference of a circle. You will be given formula sheets when you have a test or a quiz on them so that you can distinguish the two um, processes and the two measurements. So over here, circumference equals, I'm going to do 2 times pi times radius. And then I'm going to do area equals pi squared, pi r squared. This one doesn't change, but this one can. I need y'all to pay attention. You should be writing what I am writing. Pi is... Did we forget that quickly? Thank you. And then what's the radius over here? Three. So circumference equals two times 3.14. I'm plugging in the parts of the formula times three. What's two times three? Six. So this is six times 3.14. That needs to be worked out. Then over here, I have pi, which is 3.14. And then my r squared, which is, I'm done with this circle. r squared is what? Look at where I wrote r squared, and what is my final answer? Nine. So area over here equals 3.14 times nine. And I can just work this out over here. Go ahead and get it done. Okay, what do you have? Yes, give me one of them. 28.26, sounds about right. And that is feet squared. Thank you. And then over here, who has this? Who's your neighbor across from you have it? Do you have this? Not the 14. Not, not the 14. No, by six, honey. Oh, I guess I have it. What you got? You got a little bit too much. She said 19.04. That's too much. I need something less. Three. Yes. Two. 18.84. And this is inches, not feet. Why y'all let me put feet here one, two, three, four times? You better tell me what I'm supposed to do. Okay, excuse you, get ready to go. Uh, there are no tutorials today because I haven't.